everyone! I've been working on my Sailor Pluto cosplay for a few weeks, and I finally got to debut it at Anime North this year. Today, I'll be showing you how I made her Time Keys staff. This tutorial can easily be modified for any basic staff design. Thank you to my Patreon supporters for making this tutorial possible. Here are the basic materials that I used. A 1 inch thick wooden dowel, insulation foam, craft foam, an X-Acto knife or a foam cutting knife, Christmas ornaments for the orb, spackling, sandpaper in both thin and thick grits, wood glue or carpenter's glue or gesso, acrylic paint or spray paint, and optional is warbler and a heat gun. First, take your insulation foam and sketch out your design. Make sure to have some references or a pre-made stencil ready. I just eyeballed my design in relation to the dowel and the ornament. After your design is ready, take your X-Acto knife and start cutting the shape out. You'll need a very sharp knife in order to cut through the foam because if you don't, the knife will tear the foam instead of cutting through it. Be extra careful and cut off small chunks of foam at a time. You can also do this technique with expanding foam, which is a little bit easier to cut through than pink foam and works really well if your staff has a really 3D design. The middle parts are quite fragile, so again, cut small bits at a time. The original shape that I drew was too tall and wide, so I shaved it down and rounded out the overall shape. I rough cut all of the pieces for the top of my staff, including the little balls that go at the top and the sides. Once all of your foam pieces are carved out, it's time to move on to sanding, aka time to destroy your nails. Use your rough grit sandpaper to quickly sand down the edges of your shape and the thin grit to smooth it out. Sanding insulation foam produces a lot of dust, so make sure to wear a mask and brush off the excess. Under the heart structure is a rounded base. I carved that out of foam and hot glued it to the bottom. Next is to take some spackling and patch up the chipped parts. Now, spackling is the stuff that you use to fix the cracks in walls. Uh, so take a bit and smooth up the insulation foam at the parts that have gaps. Once the spackling has dried, it will be really easy to sand down and make sure the overall shape is really smooth. I'm using a brand called Drydex, which you can get at Home Depot, and it starts out pink and turns white when it has kind of dried out. It should end up looking like this. While that was drying, I cut out the shapes for the key teeth out of EVA foam, which is a really thick craft foam, and added the staff pole indentations with thinner pieces of craft foam. Next, I decided to use some of the scrap warbler that I have for the rounded ridges of the staff body. So I took my pieces of scrap warbler, heated them up so they were really hot and melted into one main piece, made it into a roll, and molded that around the dowel. Then I used the back of a paintbrush to kind of shape it and push it all together. Priming. Now, priming is probably the most time-consuming job ever. Take your wood glue and begin to paint layers to smooth over the rough warbler and insulation foam texture. Let your layers dry in between painting so the paint doesn't wrinkle. You'll need quite a few layers. I dedicated two full days to priming so everything was really smooth. After priming, you can finally paint. Pluto's staff is primarily silver, so I used silver spray paint to spray the entire thing. I also used black paint to shade the crevices, and the red orb in the middle was a Christmas ornament that I painted red with nail polish for a shiny enameled look. I didn't have time to record the final parts because I was finishing my staff literally the morning of Anime North, but here are the reveal photos. Anime North was so hot, so I only wore this for about an hour and a half. It was really fun though, and I had such a great time cosplaying Sailor Pluto. Thanks again for supporting my cosplay, and for a more in-depth photo tutorial, basically this video in photo form, make sure to check out my blog at lovelycomplex.net, the link will be in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave me a thumbs up, and leave a comment down below for the next tutorial you would like to see me make. Thanks for watching guys, I will catch you guys soon.